In today's video, I'm going to show you how we can create a copy of a, a pipe run that we've already done in Inventor Tube and Pipe, and then we'll make it adaptive so that it can become not just a copy, but a, a copy that's just a little bit different. Um, we want to modify it a little bit, but you know, copying the run first, just so that ease of use, it's kind of what we want, and then modifying that from the original. So the first thing I'm going to go do is just activate my Tube and Pipe runs here in Inventor. And then to make a copy of this pipe run over here, runner one, I'm just going to drag and drop it into my space over here. Now, to get it into the correct position, I'm going to use go back up to my top assembly and use my normal constraints to position it over here. Okay. So now that we've done that, let's take a look at what's happened in the history browser. So you'll see there, I've got runner one, and it's got the little tube and pipe symbol over there, which tells me that it's part of the tube and pipe module. But then for the second one, I've just got copy run dot runner one instance two. So it's actually, um, you know, it's not, it doesn't have that symbol. So it's not like a tube and pipe run. So I want you now go make that a proper tube and pipe run. So if I go there, just to show you actually what happens, if I go and double click on this, okay, it starts giving me errors. You know, the, the document to be activated is not adaptive in the current context. Even pipe operations will be disabled. To edit it, please make it adaptive. So if I wanted to go and put a valve or a T or something in here, it would start, um, you know, saying, well, no, sorry, you can't because it's not adaptive. So let's go and do what it asks. So if I just right click because i'm in the copy run runner one it won't allow me to i'm just going to finish my tube and pipe run so now i'm working in the tube and pipe runs subfolder over here now i can go to my copy run runner one right click and make adaptive as the message said so the existing documents will be saved if you continue continue yes i do and then what it allows me to do is create new names so you can see there that this is the current name and it's going to have to go and rename it over here. So I'm just going to keep it as default. I can go and, you know, change it over there if I wanted to. See over there. Tells me where it's going to be saved and I click on OK. Okay. So now what you'll notice is that, is that it's actually got now this little tube and pipe run over there. Okay. And now I can go and modify it. So select it and let's go and edit the fitting orientation we're going to have the pipe coming out so let's go and swing it around 90 degrees and the same for the bottom over here In orientation and there we go so there we see we've been able to very very quickly take this run okay because everything is going to be the same except that I want my pipe to come out to the front here instead of going to the side thanks very much for watching